Welcome students of the statistical world. Today we are going to be covering the invariance property of the maximum likelihood estimator. Okay. Slay! So Thank you, Prof Proctor. This is Prof Proctor, our lawyer. So, to all the people in the comments saying that we're getting the proofs wrong, um, or soon. Anyway. If theta is the parameter associated with a distribution of some random variable y, that's the first step of the statement. <laughs> then, for any function t theta, that's any like any random function where theta is the parameter, where the maximum likelihood estimator of theta is theta hat, then the maximum likelihood of t theta is denoted by t theta with the hat equals to t theta hat. So, the maximum likelihood estimator of t theta is t theta hat. Because for t theta, the maximum likelihood estimator of theta is theta hat. Okay, let's prove. Hmm. So you may be wondering, how do we prove this? Let me show you. Okay, let's prove it. Let theta equal to t theta. Therefore, this implies that theta is equal to t minus 1 theta. So, that's our first statement. Secondly, let theta hat equal to t theta hat, which also further implies that theta hat is equal to t minus 1 theta hat. Okay, stunning. Then, the likelihood function of theta can be denoted as L1 theta is equal to L t minus 1 theta. So, then, since theta is maximized at theta hat, since theta is maximized at theta hat, the light map is shown, then the likelihood of theta always be less than the likelihood of theta hat. Then, for any beta, L t minus 1 beta, because theta is equal to t minus 1 beta, as stated above, will be less than L t minus 1 theta hat, which is equal to L1 beta, we'll just step here, less than or equal to L1 beta hat. Oh, this should be beta hat minus 30, which then implies, therefore, beta hat is the maximum likelihood estimator of beta. Therefore, you have to state this second um, conclusion. The MLE of T theta is T theta hat. And thus, you have proved the invariance property of the MLE.